All right, I got a second 66 AB165 baseman came in at the same time as the, the other one. Had the original two conductor power cable. I've cut it, I'm gonna replace that. All 66 iron. This one has the original output sockets. Uh, this one has the same thing where these two caps were replaced. These are still the originals. They all need to be replaced. This one came in without a doghouse cover, which is highly dangerous. You reach in to change a tube, you touch the wrong thing, you're, you're gone. Um, fortunately, the only real hazardous place to touch on these is right here. You have to really reach inside to get to the high voltage stuff, but people do all kinds of crazy things. So but even this much danger right here is too much. So I'm gonna get a new uh, doghouse replacement cover for this. Flip this over and see what else it needs. Okay, Some weird wiring here around the output sockets. Uh, the heater wiring has been redone in a non-factory method. There's a lot of excess wire that I would not expect to see. I'll, I'll know more as I go through and I tuck things away where they should properly go and redo it correctly. Um, this ground here does not look original. The other one does. Uh, has new grid stoppers on the tubes. So I'm not sure what someone was doing. This splice on this primary connection, possibly the output transformer was changed out at some point, but I don't think so. It says 66 on the transformer. A burn here from someone who was careless. Overall, this amp's in very good cosmetic shape. All original parts in this amp. So at least all the cathode bypass caps need to be changed out. Um, some of the 220 and 470K resistors in these amps like to drift. And this amp's also gonna get the AA864 output section to be the best basement that Fender never made but should have. If I find anything of note as I go through this, I'll report back, but in general, it's gonna get m most of the same stuff the other 66 is getting, um, because they are, they started off life as the same amp, they're gonna uh, revert to being the same amp, even if uh, their midway points here are a little bit different. The major difference between this uh, 66 and the and the other one is the other one is going to get a master volume because it already has the hole in the chassis for it. This one will not. Anyway, um, it's possible that I'll find something unusual in this as I go that'll get a another. Isn't that interesting video? But it's also possible that this one will just get a final playing video along with the first one. I don't often get two uh, nearly identical amps in at the same time. But um, this is one of those times that I do. A little update, the uh, output sockets are not original, but they were changed out a long time ago. So the solder joints looked it from the other side. So I'll be doing some sleuthing to see what other things might be a little bit wonky in that area where all the excess wiring is. but. Uh, these will get replaced with some phenolics too, because the way that these are compressed makes the tube not want to sit flush, and I don't quite trust them.